this. Um, I'm going to deviate a little bit um, with this video. I do apologize, but um, all videos after this is going to be all natural hair related. But something just happened recently and I just wanted to discuss it and talk about it and just share my thoughts about it. Um, my cousin passed away. He was 45 years old and he was on a donor list for a heart. So he had a congenitive heart disease that he was battling um, later on in his life. And Tuesday, today is Donate Tuesday, Give Back Tuesday. And I don't know, it's, it's devastating to know that, you know, giving life is a hard thing because someone has to lose their life in order for someone else to save their life when it comes to organ um, donation. But I am an um, organ donor for sure. And um, I just wanted to come on and just tell my, my family I love them. They're always in my prayers. Um, it seems like I'm in the season um, as I get older of losing people more than um, gaining people. So, I don't know, it's just, it's a really harsh reality of what can happen. Um, you know, when people get an organ and they're able to have a second chance of life, all I can say is grab hold on to it, live your life to the fullest, and do as much as you can, because not everyone's given that second chance. My cousin, he left behind a son, um, girlfriend, family. Um, his mom passed, my auntie passed away earlier this year and then he quickly followed after. So it's like a season of death in my family, unfortunately, that we're just going through and just like trying to wrap our heads around. And the thing that kind of helps my mom and my family and my aunts and my uncles go through this is a our faith and our belief that you know this is just a husk this is just a temporary situation um, we don't cease to end just because we're no longer in this body form when we are no longer on this earth we do go on to see the, our family that's passed before us and wait for those that haven't yet and I, I don't know what helps me to cope is knowing that this is not the end. It's just the end of this experience in this lifetime. So that's what kind of helps me keep going. But I just want to just shot, tell you guys that whatever your favorite organization is, just think of Tuesdays. Um, Give Back Tuesdays is a big donating day. Um, so I'll list a couple of my favorite organizations that I'm going to donate to. Um, like I said, I am an um, organ donor. Um, I'm going to be donating to an organization called No Barriers. Um, it's an organization for the blind, visually impaired, and mo mobility impaired. I'm all going to um, donate to my blind school where I got my guide dog, Pala Dogs. I always give money to them, either through my employer that I'm working with or I make a personal donation. And lastly, I already made a don donation to United Way. And I know, you know, people may not agree with certain organizations and how they, they um, handle their funds, but these are the organizations that I like to donate to. And whatever organizations that you are drawn to, donate. Um, this is a season of giving, not just gifts, you know. Um, give to organizations that help others that are not as fortunate as you, you may be in your current life. And even if you don't have a lot of money, I don't have a lot of money, um, give what you can. Give what you can. So uh, again, I'm just kind of sorry that this is kind of starting off on a sad note, but you know what? We celebrated his life. My mom confirmed that his, his funeral was absolutely beautiful, so we celebrated his life. And I'm at my age now, in my mid 40s, because he was only 45, I'm 43. It, he was inspiring for me because no matter what pain and things he was going through, um, and knowing that the heart's probably not gonna come and he probably won't be able to make it if it does come, knowing that 
He knew kind of the end was near. He inspired me to know regardless of what challenges you have, you're obligated to live your life at the fullest. You're obligated to still see the blessing and you're obligated to keep pushing forward and having passion and being motivated. You can't you can't just shrug it aside and let depression of your circumstances overtake you. So for that, cousin, thank you. You inspire me so much. Um, even though your heart was even though your heart was broken, you lived it like it was full. So this is for you. So guys, hopefully you'll be able to share in the comments below some of your favorite organizations to share with others that they can donate to if they want to. Um, but yeah, just think, give back Tuesday. Give back, pay it forward. Um, we always get blessings from others and it's sometimes easy to get lost in the the hustle and bustle of life that you know man I remember when I was in this really bad situation and someone helped me out of it so remember those times those situations and pay it forward if you see someone struggling pay it for it and they'll remember that and they'll do the same thing all right guys like I always say love you embrace your uniqueness and be the good